Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakag Wadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of a great millstone who definitely rule well, and honors and citations to the whole full elect. <clears throat> so I get <clears throat> my voice is starting to go away or something, man. Um, but what I want to title this is business before pleasure. Right? And when we carry the mentality and actually become a doer of business before pleasure, that certainly makes us into stronger and better men. And like brother and always say, before you can become a man of the Lord, you got to become a man. You know, I'll say before you become a, a true man of the Lord, you got to become a man. <coughs> you know, and uh, so carrying the mentality and being a doer, like it says, be not heroes of the word only, but doers. So actually being a doer of business before pleasure really makes us into makes us further into men. So this is a first Corinthians 13 and 11. It says when I was a child, I speak as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. And. Very little children understand the concept of business before pleasure, man. It takes great, it would take great parenting, man. It would take great parenting and, and, and it would take a lot for your child to actually understand business before pleasure. I know I wasn't raised that way, man. But we're in hell. So, but anyway, a child don't, most children don't understand the concept of business before pleasure. They just want to play. They want things right now. They'll cry if they don't get it right now. You know, they don't learn. They don't, you know, learn, learn like that deep into their spirits. Nor understand. But they just want, they just want to have fun, man. You know, you have to constantly tell them, you know, clean your room, clean your room, clean your room before you do this. And hell, if I'm, if I'm, you know, using the children that I'm around as an example, they never fucking learn, man. All they, you know, all, all they, all they want to do is just eat, play the game and bullshit. You know, you tell them to clean, you tell them to do something, they get an attitude with you. Right. Or, 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 or they'll get upset. They'll get sad. You know, head will hang lowly. You know, just don't understand the concept of getting getting your chores done first. Then you could play the game and whatever and whatever. You know, and you know what? The older they get. The harder it is to instill that within them. And that's why I wish I said, man. You know, we got to be like children ourselves. So let's continue on. So like it says, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. See? So when we become men, we got to put away childish things, childish concepts, childish, you know, ideologies, man. Childish mindsets. Another thing about being a child is a child could be fucking lazy, man. A child could be lazy. A child don't know about you having to get your ass up and, and, and take your ass to work, whether you tired or not. And then it's like a double portion of that. And then it's like you need 
a double portion of that spirit for the world and then for this truth. Because whether you whether we tired or not, we still got to study. We still got to pray first and foremost. We still got to study. We still got to read, read our, our history, man, in the scriptures. You know, we still got to keep up with the lessons, man, whether you tired or not, man. So like we need a double portion of that spirit. <clears throat> you know, and we need to apply it more essentially to the scriptures, to, to the how about Shai's business first and foremost, man. So once again, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. And it's a very manly thing to put business before pleasure. So now I also looked up the meaning of business before pleasure. It says, said to emphasize that you believe work is more important than entertainment and enjoyment. See? So work is more important in entertainment and enjoyment, man. You know, if brothers like to have a drink. All right. Get the work done first. Well, or whatever. That's just an example. Whatever it is that, that causes distractions, man. As a matter of fact, since I said that. Oh, it's, it's in First Corinthians as well, actually. You know, you want to go out, go out to the bar or, you know, chill, chill with wifey or whatever the case may be for the day. Get the Lord's work done first, man. And this goes for myself first and foremost. Get a little, you can't get 15 minutes of studying in on a topic to stay brushed up. You know, can't find an hour to check out brothers, check out the apostles and elders and brothers lessons throughout the day. But we could damn sure find an hour to watch uh, our favorite TV shows. So fuck that shit, man. Business before pleasure. Get the Lord's business done first and then it's whatever, man. This is 1 Corinthians 7.35. And this I speak for your own profit. That not that I may cast a snare upon you. <laughs> it reminds me back to the childish things, man. You tell a child to do something. It's for their own profit. They think you're trying to cast a snare upon them. They think you're trying to, you know, you being mean to them. You being a bully to them. You know, you in their way, you bothering them. That's how some men in Israel actually think, man. Some men got offended when the apostles said, do three lessons a week. I remember that, man. They tried to rebuke the apostles. Where is that in the scriptures? That's just like a little kid, man. You know? Tell a kid to clean his room. Oh boy, who knows what they're saying in their mind? Only the Lord knows. In their mind, oh, they probably letting you have it. But it's, it's so that you can be able to function better, think better, feel like you're in a better environment, man. Feel better about yourself. But they don't see that. So how much more with the with the, with the lessons, man? These lessons help keep keep us brushed up in the spirit. It helps us stay in the spirit, man. It helps us. Do as the Lord commanded us, man. It helps us stay in the spirit, man. Keeping the Lord in mind. Amongst so many other things, man. It said, not that I may cast a snare upon you, but for that which is comely. And that you may attend upon the Lord without distraction. See? Attend upon the Lord without distraction. And the Lord is so merciful. The Lord gives us time to... You know, watch a basketball game or do whatever, do whatever distraction it may be to 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 appease the flesh. I remember the, the brother down there in Mississippi 
the elder brother Zahab said, sometimes, man, you got to let your flesh air out. Go on a little bike ride. You know, go a little shopping if you got bread. Let your flesh enjoy itself a little bit. Yeah, by all means. But business before pleasure, man. Attending upon the Lord without distraction. Okay, so once again, business before pleasure means it's said to emphasize that you believe work is more important than entertainment and enjoyment. Look at that mama, the mama mentality, Kobe Bryant. I think Allen Iverson said that about him. He said, man, while everybody was out there at the clubs, flexing, balling, having a good time, Kobe was in the gym. You know, how much more in this truth? While everybody out here feeling themselves, you know, prideful, um, prospering in the world, we out here about you. How about Shmash work? And watch how much it's going to pay off, man, when all hell break loose, man. Watch how much, man, the Lord said he's not unrighteous to forget our works and labor of love. The Lord is not going to be unrighteous to forget our works and labor of love and the, and the business before pleasure mindset that we adapted within this truth, man. You know? Just look no more. I wanna, man. Oh, oh man, this this lesson could go could get very long, man. I would love to see people saying about this. You know. <coughs> the dictionary. We must take care of our responsibilities before enjoying ourselves. And the flesh just wants to just enjoy itself, man. The flesh wants to be carefree. The flesh don't feel like doing this. It don't feel like doing that. But what about what the spirit wants, man? The spirit wants things too. Look at some sentences. If they had listened to the excellent motto, business before pleasure, they might never have been married. I wish I could keep you company longer, but business before pleasure, you know. Damn, that sounds like a man that's, you know, disciplined, serious. Mr. Smith always puts business before pleasure. Haven't you found that out yet? We will excuse you business before pleasure always, you know. So Lord willing, brothers get the gist. And then on top of that, this truth is so fun, man. To me, it's not boring. This truth is so fun. So, like, ever-growing, man. So, so overwhelming of the knowledge and, and how much different levels it could put you on for investing in this truth. This truth is amazing. This truth is fun and amazing as it is, man. Praying to get how about Shmasha is joyous. Let me get let me get that real quick and I'll end it off. Real talk, yo. <clears throat> this is uh Psalms 35 and 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. See? The feeling of joy, man. We should have the feeling of joy and gladness that we're a part of this truth, man. It helps us in so many ways. It, it helps us stay out of so much trouble. And it's going to help us stay out of Jacob's trouble, Lord willing. As far as the harsh punishments that's coming upon these people, it's going to help us stay out of that, man. Don't wisdom help you stay out of trouble? Gonna help us stay out of Jacob's trouble. Um,
right? It's wisdom of Solomon 10 and 9. But wisdom delivered from pain those that attended upon her. Who gives the wisdom? Who gives wisdom? Yahweh Basham al Shai. How do you get it? By pleasing the Lord, man. Wisdom delivered from pain those that attended upon her. So that's pretty much it. Lowell, and this is edifying with that. I'm going to say Shalom.